How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to yet another Arduino tutorial in which we're going to be looking at the ADXL345 accelerometer as promised in a previous video. So hopefully you have the library set up for this particular um, module and we're going to be looking at the hardware setup as well as the software needed to retrieve the data and display it on our serial uh, port for the Arduino. So let's take a look. So from the schematic, I've created a fritzing diagram that you should be able to follow in order to assemble your uh, module circuit. So first things first, you're going to need um, two pull-up resistors on your SCL and your SDA pins. These are used um, in order to pull the signals to high whenever necessary because the I2C uh, protocol does not does not actually pull the signals high, it only pulls them low, so it's necessary to maintain both of those lines at a voltage high. The three pins that you will always want to connect, so first of all it is the ground, so the ground pin goes to the ground bus, VCC obviously goes to the power, and as per the data sheet as you can see on your screen right now, the uh, CS pin on the module on, or on the ADXL345 accelerometer also needs to be pulled high. And you can read more in the data sheet why that is so. So lastly, um, you want to obviously get the power from your uh, Arduino board. So 5 volts and ground are going to go to the um, breadboard buses. 5 volts, ground, and both of the signals. So the signal pins are, are located all the way at the top past the pin 13 ground and AREF pins on the Arduino. So the top, top most one is going to be your SCL pin. And the one right next to it is going to be the SDA. So as you can see, all the connections are complete. If you have any questions uh, whatsoever about the uh, connections please let me know below but it should be uh, fairly self-explanatory this is also described in the data sheet why you need to pull uh, pull up the lines why you need to connect the CS so yeah let's take a look at the code in order to get this to run so here's the program for our accelerometer module first things first we want to include the wire.h library which will allow us to use the I squared C protocol on the Arduino. We are also going to define the uh, address of the accelerometer module, which is 0x53. This is defined in the data sheet, so feel free to make a reference there. We're going to create uh, six bytes uh, of values, which is going to be storing our data that we retrieve from the accelerometer. Uh, and this number six is coming again from the data sheet because we have two bytes of data per axis and we have three axes, two times three uh, equals six. We have a string output which will be used to store the data in the string format in order to output that to the serial port. In the setup function, we have a couple of things. So first and foremost, we are telling the Arduino that we're gonna be using uh, two things. The first one is the I squared C uh, protocol and the second one is the serial protocol so we define both of those right here the next thing we have is a uh, sort of an initialization of the module itself so if you look on the data sheet the 0 uh, x to d register is a power control uh, register which essentially defines the different modes that the accelerometer has so what we're doing here is uh, first of all we are telling uh, that we're gonna we're saying we're telling to the Arduino that we're gonna be writing to uh, this particular register and then we write a zero which clears the register so sets all of its bits to zero. Second of all, we're sending a uh, sixteen and this is remember this is in binary so it will be it will be toggling the bit D three as per the data sheet, which means we are going to go into a measure mode with the accelerometer. And finally, you want to disable the sleep mode by sending an 8 to the exact same register. So this is very important. If you don't write an 8 
to that particular bit within that register, your accelerometer is not going to send you back any data. And uh, just to re uh, go over this a bit more, uh, the way this is done is you begin the transition by uh, telling which module you are talking to. So in, so in this case, it, it is the accelerometer module defined up here. Uh, you, you tell the uh, Arduino which register you want to talk to as well as uh, what do you want to actually transmit and then you end your transmission. So you do, uh, you do this three times for each of the bits you want it to toggle. In the main loop, we're going to define a XYZ register which is equal to 0x32. Once again, this is from the data sheet and this is where uh, the first register which contains the value for x, y, and z begins. So you should see a snapshot of the data sheet on your screen right now in order to understand what I am talking about. What we're gonna do is, once again, initiate a transmission to the accelerometer module and this time we want to access this particular register. So wire that right zero uh, x32 and we're going to end the transmission uh, right now next we want to talk to the same module once again and we want to re request we we're going to be uh, waiting a uh, for a response from the accelerometer module of length of six bytes so we're going to write a um, bit by bit uh, of what we receive into the uh, values um, register. So it's going to essentially continue until data is being transmitted or available on the bus. It's going to write into the values um, register. And finally, it's going to terminate the transmission while uh, this is, uh, after this has been completed. Uh, we're going to also redefine our x, y, and z because right now we have um, essentially uh, six bytes. So you need to tell, you need to break it down into x, y, and z. So obviously x starts at zero, y starts at two, and z starts at four. We're going to convert that into a string. So x, y, z. And finally, we're going to print out uh, this particular output, print out a space, and then uh, introduce a delay of 1000. You can do a shorter delay if you wish, but um, yeah, let's load the pro. Let's make sure the program is compiling, loaded onto the Arduino, and let's see what happens with the accelerometer values. Once you've installed the software and plugged in all your hardware, you should be able to go into tools, serial monitor, and in just a second, you should be able to see the readings uh, you're getting from the accelerometer module. So if you look at your screen and I tilt the module forward, you will see those values change. And um, yeah, so you'll have three axes that you're gonna be playing with. So X, Y, Z. And obviously you wanna keep in mind that the axes are not necessarily aligned with your table. This is not a um, calibrated module at this point. You can calibrate it if you wish to do so. But at this point in time, you can pretty much determine from the values that you're getting on your screen right now, uh, what, it, what are your zeros? And if you want, you can uh, create functions to tell, um, for example, if this is your X axis, you can tell it to be uh, exactly straight. You can, and you can pretty much determine what is going to be the tilt um, this way. So hopefully that clears up some um, questions that you may have had for the ADXL 345 module. It is a very um, versatile accelerometer, so I highly suggest uh, getting one of these in your arsenal. You can use them on your robots, you can use uh, them on different scanners. If you need any kind of positioning system whatsoever on your quadcopters, um, so let me know if you have any questions, if you have any trouble loading the software, I should have that on my website uh, within a couple of days from this video. So be patient for that and I'll, I'll, I will upload the code accordingly. So thank you guys again for watching. Uh, thank you for all the subscribes, the comments and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.